Welcome to the video, Understanding the Equal Sign. In this video, we will look at standards 1-OA-7 and 1-OA-8. First grade standard OA-7 asks students to understand the meaning of the equal sign and use this understanding to determine if equations are true or false. First grade standard OA-8 asks students to identify the missing number in an equation which directly relates to students' understanding of the equal sign. When teaching the meaning of the equal sign, we need to identify any misconceptions students may have. This may be done by facilitating a conversation about what they believe to be the meaning of the equal sign. Show students the equal sign and ask, what does this symbol mean? On your screen are some common answers the teachers receive when asking that question. Pause the video here and think about which answers you would accept from students. Now, let's remove any incorrect answers from this group. Many teachers are surprised to see that same is not an acceptable answer. However, in the equation 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, 4 plus 2 is not the same as 6, it's just the same amount as or the same value as 6. This wording of same could be misleading to students. Throughout your lessons on the equal sign, be sure to model this language same amount as, balanced or balanced equation, and same value as. When teaching standards OA7 and OA8, there is a sequence of activities that must occur for students to really understand the meaning of the equal sign. Throughout this video, we will examine each of these steps. First, students should have opportunities to use concrete objects to explore the ideas of equal and unequal. Show students a balance and ask them to place equal amounts on the balance. And then ask them to place unequal or not equal amounts on the balance. You may even want to make balances for students to use in small groups. Be sure to have students record their equal and unequal amounts on paper or in a journal in order for them to transfer the learning from concrete to pictorial. You may even give students a picture of a balance to use as a recording sheet. Once students have had opportunities to use objects on a scale, move to thinking about whether or not numbers are equal to each other on a scale. Remember, it is helpful to use that picture of the equal sign to show the meaning of balance. Also ask students to show numbers that are unequal. A great tool for looking at the equality of numbers is called an equibalance. This one was purchased through ETA Cuisinier, or you can use the Pan Balance virtual tool from NCTM. After giving students some basic experiences with the concept of equal and unequal, start to build the understanding of balanced equations. In other words, what does that equal sign represent within an equation? At first, build this understanding using objects on a scale. Again, it will be helpful for students to record drawings of the work on a paper scale to make the connection between the concrete objects and the pictorial representations. Also, be sure to provide students with word problems to give context or meaning to the situation. For example, Maggie has one red apple and two yellow apples. Javier has two red apples and one yellow apple. Do they have equal amounts of apples? Next, start to give students simple equations to solve in the balance. Remind them that equal means balance and there should be a balance on both sides of the equation. Equal also means same amount as. There should be the same amount on each side of the equation. Encourage students to record equations to match the problems. For example, if I was solving the problem, Alex had six apples, some are red and some are yellow. How many red and yellow apples could Alex have? I would write the equation as six is the same amount as three plus three. If I was solving the problem, Alex has three red apples and three yellow apples. How many apples does Alex have? My equation might look a little bit different to match that situation. Here, I might write three plus three is equal to six. This will get students used to seeing equations written in both ways. Continue to have students record drawing their work so that when concrete manipulatives are removed, students will be able to generate pictures to solve problems. Later in the unit, you will want to show students equations and have them make comparisons. At this point in the unit, students may self-select tools for solving. 
Some may reach for manipulatives, while others may choose to draw pictures or simply compute using a paper and pencil. After this, a good checkpoint for understanding would be to ask students to complete an equation. Some may still lean towards balancing the equation by using a single number such as 8. Others may immediately start to balance the equation in more complex ways. The final step of understanding equality is stated in Standard 1.088, that is, determine the unknown whole number in an addition or subtraction equation relating three numbers. In order to do this successfully, students must first have had all the rich experiences that we discussed throughout this video. Here is a recap of the suggested sequence for teaching about the equal sign. Thank you for taking your time to watch Understanding the Equal Sign.